Welcome back everyone. I had a request to talk a little bit more about Mutt Wizard and how to move emails, tag them, uh, jump around in different folders, and we're going to look at all this stuff and how it's configured today. Let's get into it. So Mutt Wizard. Mutt Wizard is awesome. It is a tool written by Luke Smith that sets up a whole email process with MSMTP, IMAP, um, MUT, the actual email program. If you have ABook installed, that'll be your address book. It's an all-around terminal-based email solution. And I still use it. I've been using it for um, almost a year now. And I'm a big fan of it. I was asked to elaborate more on how to do certain actions and different things in Mutt Wizard, or Mutt in this case, or NeoMutt is actually what it is. It's not Mutt, it's NeoMutt. But how to move emails, how to go to different folders, tagging things, etc. So first and foremost, if you want to look at all the hotkeys or key bindings in this program after you run Mutt Wizard from Luke Smith, you can press the um, uh, question mark and it will give you a list of all of the keys and commands. But for some of the simple things, uh, I emailed myself some emails that we're going to do some things with. So the first one is, how do you move an email from your inbox to another folder? You could send it to your spam, sent, drafts, trash, archive, etc. cetera. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is capital M. If you press lowercase m, that actually starts a new email. But if you do uppercase m, you're actually moving an email. So if I do, actually let me turn on screen key here. So if I do uppercase M and move this to D for drafts, D, you can see in the bottom it says, hey, are you sure you want to add this message to drafts? Yes, I am. And so it does. It doesn't appear here yet uh, because you can see actually right now it has this D next to it. And typically when you move an email from one folder to another or you delete something or you archive it, or really, which is the same thing as moving, that will actually put a D next to your email, which means delete. It's deleting it out of this folder and putting it into another one. So if we actually moved to the drafts folder to look at the emails in there, I'm gonna do that with G for go and D for drafts. And now at the bottom, before I move, it says, ah, something is being deleted, which is that uh, email we moved to the drafts folder. Do we wanna delete that? In this instance, yes. You're deleting it from inbox and putting it into drafts. So now in drafts, here is that email. Excellent. I don't want this in drafts. I don't really even want this at all. So I'm going to delete this email now. So with that, we would do capital D. And now it adds that D next to it. And if I leave this folder, if I go back to inbox, GI, go to inbox, it's going to ask, delete this message. And yes, I want to delete it. So the next thing is tagging. Tagging you can do with uh, lowercase t and it does this selection, and which means you can bulk move or, um, yeah, you can bulk move your emails. Now, if you wanted to bulk delete, if you just did capital D in this instance, it would only delete the email that you're currently uh, selecting, which is the one that your line is currently on. So if we want to bulk delete something, really you just move it all to the trash, which is capital M and T. So that's what we're gonna do, capital M and T. Yes, I want to uh, confirm that and say we, our in inbox, we wanna stay in inbox, but I wanna just continually refresh my inbox so that I don't have to see these emails in here. I could just do GI and then yes for confirming that I wanna delete those emails that are marked for deletion or in movement in this instance. It basically just says, hey, things that were moved or deleted, now, to now perform those actions and refresh the inbox, GI, um, Y. So we've seen all of these different commands, I for inbox, D for drafts, T for trash, where do these letters come from? What do they mean? So I'm gonna turn screen key off. And if I go to, make that big. If I'm gonna to go to my top config, mutt accounts, and I only have my one account, which is my ProtonMail account, which you saw here. So if I go here, oh, actually I don't want that there. So. In this uh, account folder under mutt in .config is a mutt rc file. If I go to this file, yeah, it's really big and ugly right now. Let's just make it full screen. So in here, 
we have uh, several different commands. Now these commands are where this, uh, these actions are defined. So if I wanna go to my inbox, go to inbox GI, that is changing the folder, inbox, enter, etc. So you could technically remap these commands and make them different. Um, I, for one, don't really see a need to change them. Uh, inbox, draft, sent, trash, spam, ar archive, that's really all I need. But if you actually had additional folders, you could change this RC file and move your own uh, emails to your custom folders. So last, um, if you have, if you're drafting emails and you want to send something to somebody, you can uh, hook up an address book to Mutt Wizard, and you do this with a book. Now, Mutt Wizard or Neo Mutt and Mutt Wizard both work with a book right off the bat. If you don't have it installed, no biggie, it doesn't matter. But if you have it installed, it's already integrated. You don't have to do anything. So I'm not going to bring up any of my emails. I don't want to put people's emails up on here. But if you have a book installed, all you really have to do is say, if you're on an email, you just uh, press the A key. Um, so let's see, let's do, if I press A, it'll be a little message down here, but it says, um, do you wanna add this email to your address book? And you can say yes, no. And so in that case, it would actually add this email to a book, and then you can start adding some additional fields, the name, the address, notes, whatever, um, everything that is in a book. But then, if you were in Mutt Wizard, and, or Mutt, Neomutt, any of these, any of these things, Neomutt. If you're in Neomutt and you want to start a new email by pressing M, you can actually start typing, like if it was my email, I could be like Brian and hit tab and it would give me all the email addresses that are listed under Brian. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I have my work email in here too, um, but you can actually tab complete your emails that you want to address something to. So you don't never have to type out your full email. And this is just done with a book and adding emails to a book. So because a lot of emails are actually written with HTML or are HTML by default, like if you use Microsoft Outlook and you send email, it's actually an HTML. Um, you can actually set emails to be plain text or rich text format, but by default, usually like emails from Outlook are HTML and a lot of email nowadays is HTML. Barely, barely anybody uses plain text anymore, which can be very annoying. If everyone was using plain text, terminal-based uh, email clients like this would be probably a lot more popular maybe, but it would also be a lot less of a headache. If you have an HTML email, rarely has this happened, but sometimes uh, it'll I'll open up the email in, um, in Neomutt, and the email will not open up like text, plain text, um, like, let's see, this one. I guess that one doesn't either. Oh, here it goes, yes. So this one actually, weirdly enough, opens up with some HTML in it, I'm not sure why, but this is considered plain text. Like this is a plain text email. So it's opening and showing me the, the text of the email body. Um, but if you had an HTML email, where, you know, it has graphics, it has an actual HTML in the subject in the body or the body. Uh, if you open this email, by default, it opens in your browser. And that doesn't, I mean, I could probably open it in the terminal if I wanted to, if I could go into my, you know, the folders with Ranger, find the actual email file, I would not do this. But if you open up an HTML email, like this is one for my um, technology requirements for my school, if I open that up, you can see it like it does this weird flash thing. But if I go to my browser, it would actually open up this email in the browser and it displays here. I can click these hyperlinks, I can go and do whatever. It's a little bit of extra work to actually deal with HTML email because it would still open in your browser. Some people, some, somebody might be like, well, why don't you just do everything in your browser anyways? It's already there, you're already in it. Well, to that, I have to say, it is useful to have the browser there for opening HTML email, looking at it and taking in that email. But when it comes to like moving things around, deleting, archiving, and quickly responding to email, I personally have found this, you know, Mutt Wizard, NeoMutt, the terminal-based client to be a lot faster. It works faster, and then once I update it and sync it with um, pressing O, um, no, it's already syncing or something, so it's why it went really fast. But by doing that, it, it's just a much faster workflow for me to get through and send my email than to do it all in the browser. The browser is actually slower in that instance. I don't mind opening emails in the browser if I need to, um, honestly, it actually saves me a little bit of time because if I know it's something that I, it's not really important, it's just like, huh, I wonder what that looks like. 
more often than not, I'm just gonna be like, I don't want to, I don't want to bother opening it in the browser. I don't care, and then I just end up deleting it. So actually, it's like clickbait. It saves me from having to deal with clickbait because it's just more work to open it in the browser. So I just don't even open it. I just delete it because it's not important. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's like a basic overview of some of the the most common actions that you might do in Neomut and how you might use it. It's, it's by all means, there are so many different things that you can do in this program. It is crazy. But honestly, I don't need all that much for my email. I keep my email pretty clean. Um, I keep some like reminders and things in here, but typically I keep inbox zero and I use it as like a drop place for reminders for myself. I, I just don't need a lot of firepower when it comes to email and being able to just quickly handle it and move on with this terminal client is beneficial to me. And that's how I use it. So, but quickly before I go, Thank you to Devin and Alberto, my two patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And everyone else, you can either support uh, this channel on Patreon, sending donations, commenting below, liking the video, subscribing, and sharing the video. So thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.